Hello everyone and welcome to Plants, Projects, and More. And in today's video I'll be covering how to tie a tie. Now there are three variations that are the most common. The full Windsor knot, the half Windsor knot, and the elegant Eldridge knot. The Eldridge knot being the most formal of knots. It's a bit difficult to tie but not impossible. Uh, but for today I'll only be showing you how to tie the double and the half Windsor knot. The full Windsor knot is at times called the double Windsor and is most recognized for the form as a formal knot. It's a wider knot and is best to tie with the longer and wider neckties, such as the one that I'm holding up here. As you can see, it's much wider at the bottom. So we'll begin by placing the tie over, um, over our neck and remembering that the short portion of it goes about chest level. And then you cross the long portion over the short per portion of the tie. You bring it across over the loop, through the loop, and you pull down creating that initial first wrap. Pinching it, now you can come in to the right and you pass the big portion again back through the loop, creating that second wrap. Now holding that, uh, that wrap, double wrap again, you bring the tie across, reaching underneath, you bring it across, you pull it back underneath through and down the center strap, and you just pull a little bit tight, not too tight, but just enough to give it a nice little uh, diamond uh, triangle um, uh, figure. Now you can adjust it up, right? Now you can uh, come back and this is the way I like to do it. it uh, I prefer doing it this way so it tightens perfectly and I can adjust it and square up the tie. Now I can come back, adjust, make some final adjustments, get it a little bit tighter, make sure that it's nice and firm and um, taut but not completely choking me out and as I bring the small portion back through the small little uh, little loop that they have on the manufacturer's little loop on the inside of the large portion of the tie. Now I can make my final adjustments, uh, pull my shirt down, make it look nice and pretty, look regal, debonair, and there you have it. You have a double Windsor. Now the half Windsor knot. It's slightly smaller knot, but is used uh, the most for its convenience and the regal look that it gives with it, any color shirt. Uh, it's also is best with a smaller and slender necktie, um, and best also with a pointy, um, more pronounced and pointy uh, collar. So uh, let's get started with the half Windsor. So we again begin by placing it around our neck, uh, collar up. Um, same small portion about chest level just a little bit lower uh, because you use a lot less of the material so now see so as a little bit lower same process we're gonna go ahead and cross the um, larger portion of the tie across the smaller portion and you're gonna bring it under and uh, you're gonna bring it across over into the loop and bring it down there you go, that's the half. Now that you're putting some pressure, you can bring it all the way across your chest, reaching underneath, you grab it, come down, and as you come underneath through the loop, you bring it back through the center strap down with your finger, just making a nice and uh, maintaining pressure on the knot and you pull down, maintaining pressure, you pull just slightly taut, just enough to keep that nice diamond triangle shape now you can adjust it up, not to cut off circulation, but just enough to get keep it nice and taut and from shifting, preventing it from shifting left to right. Now we adjust our collar back down, make sure it's uh, uh, nice and even and straight. Uh, and now we can go ahead and adjust the tie properly. Now the benefit of this is that you get that nice dimple um, on the short, por uh, short portion and then there's that little loop the manufacturer graciously uh, put where you can um, pull the smaller tab through it and there you have it. Now you have a half Windsor. 